G'day, I'm Rowan from Pestec. I've put together this little video so that I can try and help you work out if termites are in fact attacking your house. The first step is to work out whether the insects that you've found are actually termites. Have a look at these guys here, they're termites. But termites come in quite a few different flavours and if you have a look here at these guys inside a piece of timber, you'll see them shaking their heads. These guys have a, a bit of an orangey coloured head. They're actually termite soldiers in stark contrast to these guys, almost pure white. These are termite workers. They do happen to be of a different species. The distinct difference between a termite and an ant is that termites have two body parts, a head and an abdomen, whereas ants have three distinct parts, a head, a thorax and an abdomen. So you can see here on these termites, a very dark brown, almost black head and one body part behind that, whereas an ant will have two. Often, when you find termites, they're going to be inside a piece of timber, like this, where I'm prizing apart a piece of timber that has been attacked over a long period of time by termites. When you look in there, it's a poor piece of footage just taken with an iPhone, uh, but up close in there are thousands of termites. Sometimes you'll find a piece of timber and it's been reduced to looking like this, where the timber itself has become so fragile that it just crumbles. Other times, you'll find behind a piece of chip rock, or on, the, on the left of this picture, the chip rock was taken off and there's mud in the wall from germlines. Just a whole lot of mud. You can see some honeycomb mud now on the left of that shot, also put there by termites. Lots of damage was occasioned there. Then, where that wallpaper is, here's a thermal camera. When pointing the thermal camera at that wall, you know, the dark red red spot surrounded by yellow, that is a full termite colony. It's not visible to the naked eye behind the chip rock. So it's just an example of the fact that they're not always present where you can actually see them. Sometimes you will find in your backyard a large tree like this one here which actually contains an entire termite colony. Now, sometimes you can have a look at the outside of a tree and find some of the evidence that there are termites there, like here. This is what we call the flight cut. There are several flight cuts on this tree, and it's what termites have done so that when they are in their uh, flying mode, which usually happens in summer, that they can actually come out of the tree where their, their nest is and fly off to set up new colonies. There you go, termite soldiers there guarding the colony inside. Sometimes you'll have a post or a piece of timber out in the yard that seems solid until you drill a hole in it. There was no sign on this post that there was anything wrong but immediately that I drilled a hole into it, this termite came out and there are others coming out now. So sometimes you need to be invasive to find the very termites. One of the most common things that people do find, however, other than the insect, is termites make a muddy type of frass which, which is uh, a mixture of soil and termite poo. And they put it into little gaps. And see the timbers here where they join? Right here, you'll just be able to see a little bit of mud coming out of the joint of two timbers. That's where termites have filled it up. They're working in behind there, eating the timber. Up further up this piece of timber, you can see it a little bit clearer, some, some mud. And this was in a garage. This is a typical type of thing that you'll see when termites are eating a piece of timber. I hope that this helps you out a little bit. I'm always available to help anybody with a termite problem. You can give us a call 
uh, and, and I'll have a chat over the phone or if you'd like to email me, feel free. Good luck.